TGTV and more specifically, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back today onto the channel, The Hurricane STO. I say welcome back, but it's never actually been on the channel before. I've got The Hurricane STO in my possession for a very brief time, so I thought what better thing to do than make a video. Shock horror, ladies and gentlemen, on this channel, I'm making a video about a car. Hello, you alright? <laughs> so avid viewers on the channel may well remember, back when this was launched, I was actually mooting whether or not to get one. I've actually been through several generations of the Hurricane, I've been through a couple of iterations of the Aventador, and many of you thought I was going to get the STO, including myself, until it came out, I saw the price tag, and I kind of just went off the idea. So today's going to be a little bit of a reckoning, I'm going to get to grips with the car, I'm going to use it as I would normally use my cars, which is mainly around town. I know you'll turn me off for that. We're gonna go for a little drive and we're gonna see what it's like to live with. Not only that, we've got in the car, partners in crime. We're missing one of our partners in crime. However, we've got this thing <laughs> in the car. And we're gonna see what he makes of it as well because I know all of you have romantic notions that you know when you get one of these cars all you're going to be doing is blasting it around on a track on an A roads and B roads and country twisties and all that kind of stuff and oversteer and understeer and sliding around but actually the reality of these cars is a lot of them spend their time doing what we are about to do today we're gonna to go for a little drive are we not we're gonna do some admin in the STO um, with fat boy in here and I want both of your opinions on this car. Some overall stats then, many of you will know all these stats already, it's 631 brake horsepower, it's got the V10 in the back there, it's completely stripped out, it's actually got um, a kind of completely different carbon skin on this car, it's a lot lighter weight, the underpinnings are completely paired back and honed, and in fact everything opens up like a race car, so that front shell there, actually the hinges down here, that opens up like that, and at the back opens up, and it's even got on these carbon louvers here, you've even got these little race type lock unlock buttons. In actual fact that looks like it's unlocked at the moment, whatever, hopefully that doesn't open whilst we're driving along. Um, but it is basically the Trofeo car and the STO stands for Super Trofeo Homologato which basically means um, road going Trofeo car which is effectively what it is. Think the Hurricane Performante cranked right up and I think this will be the last iteration of the legendary Hurricane and what a way to go out. So many of you will notice that the plates are Italian. Uh, that is actually very normal for Lamborghini press cars. You'll remember the blue Urus on my channel many moons ago. Italian plated, but right hand drive. And does get a lot of questions from people say, you know, are you Italian? Why is it right hand drive? Blah, blah, blah. And a little birdie tells me that these actually get crushed afterwards. Someone told me that the right-hand drive Italian press cars get crushed. I don't know if that's true, and I don't actually know if I'll be told off for that. Anyway, very kind of Lamborghini to lend me this car. I've had to be very, very careful with it, but we're going to jump in anyway. Go for a little spin, see what it's like to live with on a daily basis, because you've seen track reviews, you've seen drag races, you've seen all that stuff, but have you seen going to the shops with a fat dog <laughs> in the car videos? Have you? A fat smelly dog. He absolutely stinks today. Um, so this STO has not got the horrible fixed carbon buckets that I had in my SV and that you could spec in the Performante. This has actually got the lovely new folding buckets that Lamborghini have brought out uh, with the Evo generation. Actually the same seats as I had in my Evo rear wheel drive, which I sold, which I shouldn't have sold and I miss. Um, but these are actually a lot better. The padding on them is actually, I mean, it doesn't, doesn't look great now I'm squidging it, but it's actually pretty decent. These are good, good seats and you need better seats. This car would be undrivable with the fixed buckets of old, which we'll get into when we drive around because the ride is not particularly pleasant, which I'm sure we'll get some moaning about. So let's hop in there. It is completely stripped out in here. The floor is carbon. Door skins, all completely carbon. You've got door pull to get in and out like that. Well, that actually unlocks, that comes out like that. And this is kind of a little grab handle thing, but the door is pretty light. It's like a racing car. Common obviously all over everything, and this is all a standard, I believe. Yeah? Yeah. And the steering wheel is actually a standard Hurricane steering wheel, so there's no carbon or anything on the steering wheel, which is a little bit disappointing. You've got this incredible central screen here, which you've got Apple CarPlay and whatnot. This works very, very well. The volume is still fiddly on here. You've got to um, drag it down with two figures and nonsense whilst driving along. But you do get this new carbon inlay here as well, which is new for the STO. Over and above the Evo. God, he's an annoying dog. He absolutely oh, stinks. I love him so much. Um, and you'll notice this car as well has the camera there and also a camera up here as well which is uh, the telemetry system which you can use for track work and you've got a fire extinguisher there as well. Unlike the SV you've actually got a little tiny place 
where you can put some of your belongings, but that is literally it. This doesn't move at all. You can literally only put your belongings there. There's nothing in the door. Um, so you're literally kind of like the SV, not got much space for your stuff at all. No space for your personal effects. And actually if you put them on the floor, they rattle around. So you can hear, so you can hear things like kind of rattling around on the floor. But that doesn't really matter. As is normal with Hurricanes, headroom is always a little bit of a stretch for some people. I am six foot one with a tailwind and actually, <laughs> Okay, sorry. I'm five foot nine with a tailwind <laughs> and you'll notice there's a little bit of space above my head there. It's not really about height, it's about how long your torso is. So you can be five foot five, but if you've got a long torso, your head will hit the roof. Do be prepared that if you want one of these cars, do uh, measure yourself in it first. How are you doing for headroom then? I'm okay. I've You're got my good? glasses on my head and I'm still... You are, you are a lot shorter than me, so that might be why. Mm, a lot shorter. A lot shorter than me. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Good. Mm. Did you want to own up about your lip, by the way? No, I don't. And Agent. I haven't got a cold sore. Do, do, uh, did you actually want to tell it's them It's self-inflicted. Yeah, no, I don't really. In case they bring it up. Okay. Um, you have an injury to your face, do you not, today? I do have an injury to my lip today, which is not herpes. Was it from one of my fists or my forehead? I can't say that. I know it was self-inflicted. Self-inflicted. Well, that sounds dodgy as well. Okay, right, let's go for a drive. Let's fire her up then. Sorry. Did you have to do that? Yeah, just for the camera at the back. YouTube, innit? Yeah. <laughs> Trying to get down with the kids. Oh, you're so you know cool. me. Oh, you're so cool. Captain Trendy. You really are. You excited? Do you like cars like this? Um, uh, do you know what I like about cars like this? It's actually driving around and seeing people's reactions. I find that quite fun. It's good people watching, isn't it's it? It's really good people watching. Some people get really pissed off. Yep. And you don't drive them silly either. You're not like revving. And then some people get so excited. Like we just drove past these guys that were like, rev it, rev it, rev it. I have had more Revit in this car than any car I've ever been in in my entire life. The reaction to this car has been probably the strongest really? of anything I've ever been in. Yeah, I think so. Do you think it's just that Lamborghini stigma? Yeah, and the fact it's got stickers all over it. Yeah, it looks like a racing car, so yeah. you, you really will rev it. But you don't, thankfully. I, I actually do, but... What the yeah. hell was that? Don't know, anyone know? Maybe we'll see it back in the edit. Stone. Pigeon in the window. Um, so this isn't its most comfortable setting here on this bumpy road. Uh, it's not that comfortable. It's in its comfort mode, which is just says STO on the steering wheel. Um, what does that stand for? Super Trofeo Amologato or something like that. I might be wrong on the last one. Oh, of course, that, yeah. Yeah, um, so this is basically comfort mode, but because of the fact that this is the STO, everything has been uh, scaled up. So before in the just normal Hurricane Evo, we've got Strada, maybe Sport, of course, I don't know, but comfortable and chilled, sporty and race. But in this, you've got unpleasant, horrendous and horrific. Well, it woke Christmas up and it takes a lot to wake Christmas up. So if that was comfort mode, then it woke him up. Then. He's been on a long walk. He's, he's gone back to sleep. Um, so then, the other thing about the driving modes as well on this, in anything other than STO mode, it just goes into manual. So in your Trofeo and in your Pioggia mode, you're in manual only. You can't do automatic. As far as I can tell, as soon as you change the Manatino to anything other than what you're already in, and you press the auto button, it won't let you put it in automatic. You're manual in anything other than comfort mode, which sometimes you want to be in sport, but also in automatic, like if you're driving around with a coffee or something, but you want to make it noisy. Um, I don't know, but that's something to bear in mind. Interesting. It's not interesting though, is it? For you, that's like literally the opposite of interesting. I had that can driving be more around with a coffee and I thought, ah, that's yeah, oh, interesting. Yeah. <laughs> Perked your ears up there. Pricing then on this car is 300 
and £50,000 on the kind of uh, resale market, on the open market right now. There is currently one that I found for sale at the point of filming. It is a red car at Amari and it's £360,000. List price on this car without options was about £260,000. I don't know whether or not that's with or without the VAT, but I suspect you wouldn't be able to spec one of these up and get change for three hundred and thirty grand. So it ain't cheap. It ain't cheap. And remember my black Hurricane that I had, the black Lamborghini yeah. I had? Yeah. That was 180 grand new I paid for that. You don't have that anymore? No, I sold it. Oh, really? For 190. When but, did you sell it? Um, I don't know, a few months ago. Oh, I didn't know that I got. No. Well, some of them just come and go. C'est la vie. Yeah, that's what happens. Uh, but when you consider that's half the price of this, Yeah. I'm struggling to see the extra this value add. This does feel quite spacious in here. It's the same as the other ones. All oh, right. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. <laughs> you only went in that other one like once or twice, the Black Hurricane Evo rear wheel yeah. drive for those of you don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're already going to be getting told off for this car review, by the way. Why? Can we actually stop and get a coffee? Can if you want, yeah. Okay, so usability then. Nose lift, very good. Standard nose lift, normal Lambos. Anyone's used one before, it's very good. It's fast, it's excellent. It doesn't have the auto lift function that remembers your location, like the 992, which you probably would expect on a car. Oh, the one really that if you go over the bumps, it remembers where the bumps yeah, are. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. really So cool. like now, if I'd ever been here before with the lift yeah, up, yeah, yeah. you can click save and it'll just... Um, That's really cool. Yeah, that is really, really useful. Um, visibility is something I always cite because I'm getting grumpy and old. Uh, visibility is fantastic this way, and actually your blind spots are very good in this car. Out the mirror there, you do get quite a lot of uh, visibility and kind of vision. The wing's not too obstructive, it's not too distracting, which they sometimes are in cars with huge wings. However, you don't really get much out of the back then, and it's the same as the SVJ. You get very little out of the back there. Um, you can't tell if you're being tailed by uh, police or whoever it is, you can't see much at all. You can't see them in your mirrors, you haven't really got much in the way of vision out the back either. Could be an issue. I suspect if you've got a car like this, you're not going to care. That's it. How are you finding your seating? Yeah, it's comfy. You happy yeah. enough? Uh, should we check the mirrors? Yeah, all important. How are you finding that there? It's a bit small. Oh, I guess that way, sorry. Yeah, it's a bit small. I wouldn't be able to do a full face in that. That's just for touch ups. Just for touch ups. But it has got sun visors, which is good. Small ones? It does have them. Little sun visors. Little uh, sun visors. The speakers in this car, it hasn't got the Sensonam uh, upgraded ones. They're not great at all. They're exactly the same as the ones in the standard Hurricane Evo. Not great at all. So if you're into Beats, I would upgrade the speakers. They're worse than in like a standard Golf. What? They're not very good. But you listen to the V10 a lot of the time. I mean, you wouldn't be listening to the V10. You wouldn't be listening to the engine at all. No, I'd be listening to Doja Cat. Doja Cat, perfect. Good. More boring practical considerations if you've got one of these. PPF, when you're putting it on the outside of the car, I would probably put it on the inside of the car too, on the carbon skinned. I would definitely, definitely protect that. I did that on my SV, and it just means the whole thing is a little less stressful, particularly the floor plates as well. If you get pressures about that sort of thing, where you just don't want carbon being scratched, particularly if you take dogs in the car, I would get the inside PPF as well. So if you're taking delivery of one of these, I would get that done and pre-delivery. It just protects the floor as well. You see like old F40s, the floor plate is absolutely buggered on all of them. Uh, worth bearing in mind. Other than that, I can't really think of any other considerations to think about. If oh. buying one of these, if driving one of these. Is that him? Yeah. That is disgusting. Me, is it? Well, get, I'm calling oh an ambulance God. if I was you. <laughs> That's offensive. What have you fed him? He had hot dogs in the oh. park earlier. Hot dogs found in the park? Or? No, uh... <laughs> ah, <what the> <laughs> You like that? You think it's cool? I... Do you think I'm a big man if I do that? Oh. <laughs> Am I a very impressive manly man when I do that? You look like such a small willy. A small willy behaviour. Would you expect anything less from me? No, I can't so help it. How I was born. I do get a little bit of abuse in this car and I think I must be getting old in that I'm almost slightly embarrassed. He's scared. He's not scared, he doesn't care. He does care. He does not care. He's scared. No, he's just not bothered. He's his mummy. At all. He 
can care less. You get abuse, what people shouting abuse. You do get some people, you can hear like mutterings from people, but it's no different really? to really what I got when I was driving the SV. I went to school up here. That's good. To be fair, that's of more relevance than most of the things I've said about this car, so let's leave it in. <laughs> Other driving impressions then. Uh, the steering is pretty heavy, as you'd expect from a track focused car. You can't just drive it around with you know one finger on like a 992. That's this isn't. <laughs> 35 years ago. Oi! Carry on. I was just saying the steering's heavy, that's it really. Oh, okay. Uh, it is quite communicative. Communicative? That's the word. You'd know that if you went to my school, because it was a good school. Well, I've not done too badly, so then have a go. <laughs> Look at me making car videos for a living. Smashed it. It is involved. It's a lot more involved than other Hurricane iterations. Obviously with a stiffened suspension, uh, you do get a lot more. Bye. <laughs> Didn't really need that angle anyway. <laughs> I don't think it's adding much value. If anything just annoys me because I have to then crop crop out sections when I creep over the speed limit. So you want me to turn it off? Good. Enjoy that if you've got the up nose shot. And for those of you wondering, you know, like, Tom, you've got one of these cars, for, uh, you know, to lent by Lamborghini. Why haven't you taken on some extravagant uh, road trip or test drive or put it on a track or taken some country roads or any of that kind of stuff? Um, reality is, I've just been absolutely slammed. And this is, I haven't really used it. This is the first day I've actually used it. I did a roadster meet this morning, which went down really well. Um, and if you're not on the roads around, make sure you're following me on there. There's car meets, there's all sorts. About 70 people turned up, Porsches everywhere, a little Lambo, some AMG stuff. Um, but I, I literally haven't been around in this car. Mahmood's used it more than me. Um, and yeah, that's it. This is literally the only slot I had in the day where I could chuck some cameras in and give some real world impressions of the car. Um, if you want driving videos, it's proven they don't work on my channel. No one really cares. I put a load of effort in and it doesn't work. So actually stuff like this, the real world stuff, stuff that people are actually gonna use these cars for, that's never really covered by traditional journos. So uh, here we are. We're just driving around aimlessly in a Hurricane STO um, with a fat, smelly dog. And Chris. Don't, don't give a... No, that's, sorry. I was hoping you'd pick up on that one. And for those querying where Connie is, our rescue dog, our lovely uh, Bindingo, as I like to call her. We've given her back. We gave her back, sent her back to Romania. She's just doing our heads in. Uh, and that's the thing about rescues, you can just hand them back. <laughs> no, she's with my mum. She's yeah. really tired. We've been training her off the lead at the minute. Um, and that's also why Crisp smells, because every time I give Connie a hot dog, I have to give one to Crisp. So he loves them, but I don't think his tummy does. Um, so Connie is just resting. She's with my mum at the minute. Yeah, she's a great dog. And if anyone wants to rescue a dog, it's hands down the best thing I've ever done. And there's going to be a lot more available soon. Yes, uh, there will be a lot more of rescue dogs coming out of Ukraine. So, yeah, so um, if you were thinking about rescuing now, it's a really, really good time because it gives the centre space to take on more dogs that really, really need homes. And um, yeah, and they're just amazing anyway. She's a fantastic dog. She's a proper friend. Yeah, she's so Whereas you, mate. He's a baby. She's a companion. Yeah. She, She'd back you. She would back you to anyone. She's just the dream. You came in the gaff giving it 10 10, she would have a go. He, on the other hand, would help you burgle the place. <laughs> <laughs> as long as you gave him hot dogs. Useless dog. Absolutely useless. Any closing remarks on your on your time with the Hurricane Super Trofeo or Molagata? Oh, it's coming to the end. Um, That's it, yeah. I think we've, I think we've got to close it. Any remarks to them? Should I get one? You tell me at home, do you think I should get one of these? Does, does I think you're going to ask me a question and just talk over me. No, but I want their opinion as well. I, I just, oh, the okay. brain's always just, I don't so know. Rude. I know, it's a bit in and out. Go on. So, shall I get one then? Let's, let's you know, what, what, what do you think? Shall I have one to the garage? I say flippantly. Shall I leverage myself up to the point of sleepless nights to get one of these? I don't think you should buy a Hurricane Gelato. Okay, good. Personally. Why is that? What is it called again? Uh, Super Trofeo Omologato, Omologato, STO. STO sounds worse. STO sounds like something you should send ex-partners a, a text about. Super Trofeo Omologato. Yeah. 
Super Trafalgar Hurricane Gelato STD. <laughs> that's it. That's it. Nailed it. Yeah, that's the technical. Yeah. Oh. Brilliant. Um, no, I don't think you should wear one. But okay. Sorry. Sorry about it. No, it's Sorry fine. If you wanted one. I have just bought a Lamborghini, by the way. Have you? Yeah, I bought a Lamborghini Murcielago. Lamborghini Mercy. Have we heard Mar that in a video? Murcielago. Yeah, that's another. Much ado about nothing. Yeah, that's it. That's the one. You are little monkey face. Bored. Absolutely bored of the car chat. Yeah, am I going to add one of these to the garage? Probably not. Do I like it? Yeah, I actually love it. Uh, along the brief little bits of spirited driving I've done, um, it's by far and away the best driving Hurricane I've ever been in. I do think it's a brilliant bit of kit. Yes, it's a lot of money, but it also it's a lot of car. It's by far and away the best Hurricane they're ever going to make. Uh, and dare I say, probably one of the best driving cars they're ever going to make. Will it hit 200 miles an hour? No, it does 193, uh, but it's all about the downforce. It generates 420 kilos of downforce, I think at 74 miles an hour, something like that. And it's also 0 to 60, doesn't hit the three second barrier. Turbo S is faster than 60, uh, but it's all about the way this thing grips and goes to corners and feels to drive. Uh, the brakes are incredible, the steering is incredible. Everything about it is absolutely amazing. It's rear wheel drive as well. It's a proper driver's car, so if you're after probably the best driving Lamborghini that's ever been built, and probably may well ever be built with the noise, I think you're looking at it. So it's a lot of cash. Chris is trying to get comfy on the hard floor. It's really not very really comfortable. There's no carpets down it's there, not mate. Not good. It's not. It's not good. Chris does not approve of this car. He likes it down there usually. Oh, poor boy. It's like a hard wood floor. I'm sorry. Oh, he's still going to go for it though. He's having a little cut. Like he's fat enough to be comfortable anyway. <laughs> So yeah, huge thank you to Lamborghini for lending me this car. Uh, probably a huge sigh of relief from them actually. When it comes back, it'll probably have about 100 miles in it, more than when it was dropped off. Uh, I'm not one to do three, 4,000 miles on a press car um, in exchange for one video, so uh, that is that. Might have a bit of dog hair though. It may do, but I'll try and get rid of that before it, before it goes back. That's literally it. Uh, haven't even used a tank of fuel, nothing like that. Bit of a waste, but Good, because there's a shortage at the minute. There is, because people are hoarding fuel because they're foul. Good. That's it. Thank you very much. Any final words? Have a lovely day. Stay sexy. Stay sexy. Right. Yeah, you can yeah. do it. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, guys. Yeah.